All right, I think my wife's done fighting with the phone. Anyway, I'm uh, going to do a little video on our uh, three sisters method. And we, I planted corn. Matter of fact, I'll back up and let her show right here. I went on ahead and put both corn and the purple hull peas mm -hmm. in the row. And I've got most of my rows covered up. I've covered them up with uh, uh, readily abundant material around my property, which is uh, I cleaned out the chicken coop and uh, got plenty of chicken poop, which and they like a lot. That's the corn we planted when Darian was out here helping us put the scarecrows in. So it's doing pretty good. Yep, it's looking, a lot of it's looking quite good. It'd be looking better if we'd had some rain. But anyway, we're just going to uh, break this up a little bit because the really loose stuff went on. The okay. okay, and my wife's expecting my expertise with splicing to yes, uh, I do. be used here. <laughs> she wanted to check I something. wanted to make sure the phone wasn't flipping the images again. Yes, yeah, so we've had a little problem with this phone not wanting to video the way we wanted it to. Anyway. Oh, I get my shadow. Hello, everybody. Anyway, we've got... Uh, corn and our corn of choice is uh, Silver Queen. I, it's my favorite corn. It, uh, it's not as productive as some others but it's to me it's got a much better flavor and all I'm doing is just throwing some manure over the top of it to cover it up and this will give it lots and lots of nitrogen and as you can see I got peas in there also. Really. I got purple hole peas and uh yeah i'll show you close up <laughs> see there's the corn and there's some peas in there with it and i don't really worry about um putting manure on top of the purple holes because we grow this is rabbit or this, chicken this is chicken okay the uh this area has had uh peas and clover and everything else under the sun. I'm going back up so I can get the rest of this yeah. row. Sorry about my shadow in this. I, it's either my shadow or right. his shadow. It'll be alright. It'll be alright. It'll be alright. It'll be alright. Uh, but uh, this is our three sisters and I'll be planting some Seminole pumpkins on this row also. And uh, the reason for planting these later is because when the Silver Queen comes in, it's a little hard to take care of it all, uh, to process it and get it up, and we certainly aren't going to eat that much at one time, and uh, the rest of this will end up being uh, side dressed on my corn, especially this row, which is a little bit yellower. I think it's uh, related to water. That one, I, I watered those two rows when we were uh, having some drought issues, and sounds like we may be heading back into them, but we've had good rain for about a week and a half now. So, uh, and we're, we're fixing to take our scarecrows out over there because that corn is up high enough. Yep. And put some of those little scarecrows over here on these two new ones. Yep, yep, yep. Got to remove the hats though. Some high dollar hats. Yeah. So I can pound them in with a hammer. <laughs> so, all right. Well, if you like this sort of thing, uh, I'd ask you to subscribe and uh, come back and watch some more of our videos. And we'll be doing more videos of the corn as it uh, starts producing corn. So, thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, uh, one more addition to the um, the uh, corn. Uh, we also have some uh, live fertilizer uh, going on inside our rows. Um, got a couple of our ground rabbits. Got a couple of our ground rabbits up here keeping some of the grass down. And you can see where they have been. They have uh, knocked the ground grass down pretty good in the middle. Which is one of the reasons why we don't worry so much about uh, some grass in here. And you can also see my purple holes coming up pretty good there. Right in that area. Right here, guys. Right there, see? Right there's purple holes coming up. And they are an easy, easy, easy pea to deal with. And plus they'll spread like crazy and help knock down the grass. So anyway, these are... Uh, we uh, keep some of our rabbits to keep them on the ground, um, and then we will uh, dispatch them a little later in the season. Yeah. So. <laughs> they enjoy eating their little grass and stuff. All right, they and like I said, if you enjoy this sort of thing, uh, I'd ask you to subscribe. And bye.